Hey, thank you for clicking on my channel. I am at California Adventure today and we're gonna get on as many rides as possible. I got myself a guide map. I'm gonna check off as many rides as I can. They still have physical guide maps here. It's kind of cool. Anyways, if there's a specific ride that you wanna look at, just go into the description. I am gonna timestamp everything I get on. Or if you just wanna hang out and watch this video, I'd appreciate it. Uh, I'm trying to build a theme park channel and um, if I deserve it, please leave a like and a subscription. Okay, so let's get on some rides. Here's Soaring Around the World. Let's find out if this whole thing about it having single rider is true. Hey, do you guys have single rider? Yeah, it's just you riding. Yeah, just me. Awesome. Are you going to follow me? Just so you know, we don't have an estimated wait time and there's no safe request, okay? Oh, okay, no problem. Thank you. No estimated wait time and um, hopefully this will be worth it. I'm gonna do all the single riders. When I went to Disneyland, the single rider at Matterhorn was almost as long as a standby, so hopefully the same thing doesn't happen here. I mean, I really am a single rider. Okay, well, 25 minutes, not too bad. Anyways, for those of you who don't know, Soaring is a ride where you watch this IMAX movie you get put in the seat, you're put up into the air. Well, the seats are lifted up into the air and there's like air blown into your face so you get the sensation of flying. Um, look, I'll show you the seats. I'll show you a bit of the video. So these seats are lifted up. <laughs> then the, you see the seats are lifted off. Whoa. Sensation of flying. And that is soaring. Always, always enjoyable no matter how many times I do it. Um, it. It doesn't look like it would be good, but it is. And near soaring is where you could get a character picture with Pluto. He usually hangs around there. This is Grizzly Falls. I already have a video where I take an entire ride of that. Say hi to that person. Uh, so just link it up here. So I'm just gonna get on it quickly right now just to say that I did, but like I said, even though that video is a couple of years old, it's still fun. I thought, I think it's a fun video to watch. Hey, very important. When you go use single rider, be sure to pick up your single rider ticket. Today's a busy day, so we'll see how long single rider takes for this one. Um, Hopefully it's not as long as the one I was at Disneyland. Yes, I'm still traumatized by that. So last time I was here, I was all by myself and now I've got a whole group of people with me. So... You got this whole thing all by yourself. Yeah. Morning? Yeah, it was like last year. I had the whole oh. thing to myself. Wow. Have you been on this before? Never. No. <laughs> okay, you're all gonna get wet. <laughs> Surprise. But wait, oh wait, hey, you, oh, see. you didn't tell us about this. <laughs> well, I, 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 I actually... I oh, forgot about drop. that. I forgot about this drop. I, I forgot about this drop. I'm sorry, guys. I forgot about this drop. Uh oh, this looks pretty bad. Okay. I think that's it. Oh, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> no, you're gonna be like, oh, I forgot all this one. <laughs> no, 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 that no. More, right? that, 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 that's the last one, I promise. Okay, thank you. <laughs> well, the back rafters watch your step, exit up the yeah. stairs. Well, thank you very much. It was yeah, really fun guys, riding with you guys. Day. You have a good day. That was fun. Man, was that amazing. I had a really, really good time. Um, over here is... Uh, Redwood Creek. Not a ride, but recommended because it's fun to walk around in. And I have a video of that too in the one I pointed out earlier. It is so packed today. Why is it so packed? Because yesterday was Oogie Boogie Bash and California Adventure closed early. Maybe I should have done California Adventure yesterday instead. Because everybody who didn't want to go when it closed early came today. Anyways, what is next? Is the Mickey wheel closed today? Oh, 
Well, that means I definitely won't get on everything. Well, there's always something closed, so I couldn't get on everything anyways. Anyways, here is the Incredicoaster, which is one of the longest coasters in the world. I forgot where it fits in the top 10, though. Here is Goofy's Sky School. It is a ride that's classified as a wild mouse roller coaster, which is one of those coasters where you get squished at the outer edge because of the sharp turns, as you can see. Okay, well, Goofy Sky School does have a um, single rider, but it's probably going to take a while because for some reason it's super, super popular, this ride. It's always like an hour wait. So, the other two places I went to, I needed a single rider card, but here I don't need one. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't hear. I'm sorry, I didn't hear. Single rider? Yeah. This is your line right here. Oh, okay, awesome, thank you. Another wait for single rider. Well, um, what was the first one? Grizzly Peak was really fast. It was like five minutes. And um, what's the other one? Soaring was, was 25. And of course, my nightmare yesterday. Okay, I'll get over it, I promise. Well, uh, these um, cars look more comfortable than a typical wild mouse roller coaster. Wait a second. I don't think I've ever ridden Goofy's Sky School. Wow. I mean, I took a video of it, but I never went on it. Okay, here we go. Oh, first time on this ride. But I've been on Wild Mouse Roll Coasters before. Another down one, another down. Yellow! <laughs> okay, it's over now. Okay, as you can see, there's not much to it. Not BBG approved. Um, get on it if it's a walk on, but it usually isn't, so don't wait an hour for this one. Um, Obviously, it's a fun family ride, but not worth the 60 minute wait. It's always fun to see these things here. Okay, um, I need a restroom and I have a craving for soft serve for some reason. Restrooms near Grizzly Peak entrance or exit, depending where you're going. Soft serve. Mmm. Mmm. And the only place you could get soft serve is here at the Cozy Cone Motel. And no, Dole Whoop is not soft serve. Uh, Avengers Campus, I've heard it's improved over the years. Um, appears to be some sort of show there. Pim's Test Kitchen, oh, I remember when I went there, it was so delicious. But we are here for break, Mission Breakout. Aw, oh, 50 minutes. Oh well, it's a ride worth waiting for. Unfortunately for me, when it comes to Mission Breakout, whatever time they post, it's always shorter than the actual time you wait. Ugh. Oh, the intro again. Okay, so 49 minutes, not bad, as advertised. It unplugs you and start things rock. Woo! Now show me those hands, people. You got clearance, let's roll. Hands up in the best way. Hands up in the best way for Mission Breakout. I just love Mission Breakout. Here's a hint. Don't hold on to the to the handles. Leave your hands up. It's much easier. You go with the flow. 
California Adventure is crowded, crowded, crowded. They always talk about attendance figures at Walt Disney World, but it's obviously not happening here in Disneyland. Okay, Toy Story Midway Mania is next. You better have a lightning lane for this one. It's always, always, always a huge line. Or at least come at rope drop. Okay, the phone's about to die, so let's go pro it for a while. You would think it wouldn't be that fun, but it is. Oh. Okay, well that's always a blast. <laughs> so I was looking at the scores and the top score was 700,000. How do you get 700,000 in this game? Well, I got the uh, Incredicoaster behind me. That's where I'm gonna go next. So thank God I got Lightning Lane. I, I don't actually need it because it has single rider, but <laughs> can't go wrong with Incredicoaster. Love this one. Got some people enjoying a character whose name I can't remember. Come on, I like Incredibles. Okay, now take a look at this line be right there. That's the line for the single rider for Incredicoaster. Sometimes single rider isn't worth it. Well, I've got uh, Little Mermaid now and uh, not my favorite ride, but I got Lightning Lane, so let's do it. Okay, I've never been a fan of the Little Mermaid ride, but maybe today it'll be different. Well, uh, here it is. Kind of like a cheaper version of Haunted Mansion. But there's like one that's different over there, see? I guess that's for the uh, cool people. Here we go. I guess if you have little kids, Little Mermaid's all right, but um, I'm sorry, it's just kind of lame. I hope they replace it with something else. Haunted Mansion is least as interesting to look at. Here we are walking to uh, Hollywood Studios over there, that section in California Adventure. That's a Hyperion where I saw Frozen and Aladdin, so it's really sad that they don't show those shows anymore. I hope one day a show comes back because it was really enjoyable seeing that at California Adventure. Here is uh, Mike and Sully to the rescue. That's where we're going to next. Got a lightning lane for it. Okay, well... 
Don't know what to say about this ride. It's another Little Mermaid. Alright, here we go. Well, at least this time I get to be in front. Hello. Report. A child is on the loose in Monstropolis. A human child. Hey, Grant. <laughs> oh, boo, we gotta get you home. <laughs> Well, it's over. That's pretty much the summary of it. <laughs> uh, it's just not worth the one hour wait. I mean, it's interesting if you have family, I guess. Okay, I'm hungry, so let's get some food at Pim Test Kitchen. Okay, so we're getting some food here. We've got the Proton Punch, which is grenadine and lemonade. And we've got this awesome little sandwich here called the uh, not-so-little chicken sandwich. At least that's what I think it's called. Anyways, um, can't wait to have some food. I'm hungry. So now is the time for me to get on my favorite ride here, Radiator Spring Racers. Okay, 45-minute wait for a single rider. But despite the wait, it's always shorter single rider than standby. Okay, podcast time. Well, look how crowded it is, and single rider only took me 30 minutes, so it wasn't that bad. Okay, here we go. Here we go! One of my favorites. And I get to be in front this time, so that's good. Okay, the ride is over, so what's next? We'll see. Oh, let me get off. Well, that is it for the major rides. It seems like I used all my lightning lanes. So now I'm just gonna wait, get on rides until I drop or the theme park closes. We'll see what happens, suspense. Okay, so this ride is called Luigi's Rollickin' Roadsters. 30 minute wait, not too bad. Oh, here we go. You would think that this wouldn't be fun, but it actually is a lot of fun. Check this out. Sometimes on the surface, 
rides look kind of cheesy, but you get on them and you realize you're having a really, really good time. <laughs> well, we've got this um, Matters, this ride. Oh yeah, the Junkyard Jamboree, that's what this is called. And um, I love this ride, it's only 15 minutes, so let's hope it's true. There are a bunch of rides that do not have the um, lightning lane option, which is why I'm just going on all these rides now and waiting in line. So you see, it looks kind of basic, but it's actually a lot of fun. My only complaint is it's not long enough. Here we go. Uh, I mean, it seems so simple, but then you go, whoa, like that. <laughs> it's like that whip ride. <laughs> Goofy, one of my favorite characters. Is he actually talking? Critter Carousel. Yes, I know it's for kids, but I want to try to get on everything. It's a merry-go-round. You know I like merry-go-rounds. Okay. Um, now I can say that I've ridden this ride. I don't think I'll get on it again because everybody either has a kid or isn't a couple. You know, they should make like an extreme version of this that goes really, really, really fast. That'd be awesome. And then you could like go upside down or something. That would be an idea. I think there's uh, like four rides left and then I've written every single one. So, uh, except for, for obviously the wheel because it's closed today. Okay, you know what? I'm not going to get on every ride. I don't want to get on this one. I don't want to wait 30 minutes. The Silly Symphony Swings, I actually like, so I don't mind waiting 25 minutes for it. Oh man, I've always loved swings. Awesome! This ride is called Jumpin' Jellyfish. Another kid's ride, but if I could get on a merry-go-around, I could get on this. Here we go. I kind of feel bad because this is a family ride, but it's the only ride left that I've never done before. Oh. Oh, I get it. It's like a kid's drop ride. Not much to it. Okay, the night is almost over, but I have decided to go to Web Slingers. So one last ride, let's do this. Here we go, we are going to Web Slingers. Now, the last time I was here, I wasn't too impressed by it. Um, I don't expect my mind to change, but we'll see. Intro movie is nice and it's nicely themed. So here's what this ride basically is. You sit like in a box and then you kind of move your hands and you shoot these webs out and it destroys like targets and robots and you make points. So yeah, it's like Midway Madness, just not quite as good. And of course, you got 3D glasses so you can see in 3D. Here are the people going inside the box. Okay, you know what? It's been a while. Maybe I'll enjoy it this time. Okay, okay so you sit in this box. Oh yeah, I better put these glasses on. Wet, 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 wet. <laughs> 
So you put the glass in the box, and you sit in this box. So, have I changed my mind about web? No, I haven't. Well, that is it for me. That was the last ride of the night. I got on tons of rides today. I've been here since 11 and it's almost 9. Well, I don't know how many rides, maybe like 15 or so. I'll put the number up on the screen. So, anyways. Um, I am going home, but remember I went to Disneyland, so check out that video right there so you could see me go there, talk about all sorts of cool things like uh, how to use the uh, lightning lane, and uh, thank you for spending the day with me, I really appreciate it. I am the BBG. Okay, park is closing at 120 minute wait for Mission Breakout, jeez.